Okay, so what am I using to actually get a hotspot up and working? There's the software, DVAR version 2.57. There's my hotspot, the one I'm using at the minute. So I've got a nine pin, sorry, a USB cable into the back of uh, the hotspot. So that's going straight from the back there, straight around the back, straight into the back of the hotspot. From the hotspot, I've got a nine pin D type into the radio, and that's the radio I'm using the Kenwood uh, TMG 707. So there it goes, straight in there. I'll put it on there, the frequency I use. And uh, what I'm going to do next is just listen uh, with my 92D. So let's just make it so you can actually see it better. Give it a little bit more light. Uh, so there's my 92. So what I'll do now is... Um, put the software on. So I'll go on to Reflector 5.8. Click on that. Click Connect. And there you go, I'm connected. So what actually happens is when you connect to Reflector, Repeater, whatever, first thing you'll get is if you look, uh, the green light or LED is on. Uh, you've got the red one there and the cos light. So the cos light will only come on if I turn my squelch down. So there's my squelch off. There's my squelch on. So just so you can hear it, let's put some volume up. So I always turn the volume down on uh, the radio I'm using, the FM radio. So now back off. So now I'll turn the volume back off. So I don't need the volume on there at all. So watch the red light in a moment. Connecting to reflector 5. It'll connect. There you go. And it's retransmitted. So now um, I'm actually on D-Star. So there's my 92. I'll key up, and then in the background, you should be able to see me come online. There's a reply uh, beep. And there's me online. So that's how easy it is to actually get a hotspot up and working. Software all set up. So USB cable from your PC connected to the internet into the back of the hotspot, whichever one you're going to be using. This is the one I do a lot of testing on. And nine pin out of the back, into the radio. And then when that actually keys up, let me just key it up again. That's me sending the signal, and that's the reply back from D-Star. That's how easy it is. So you do need an FM radio, 9600 boards, and a 2820 mobile, it's no problem at all, or a 92, or any D-Star radio, really. Just make sure they're on the same frequency. Um, your radio here, your D-Star radio, and your FM radio on the same frequency. And that's how simple it is. Hope you enjoyed that.